With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. You know, Bill Cosby once said, in order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. That's something I certainly take to heart uh, every day in business. You are listening to Get Down to Business. We are all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. And business, we talk a lot about business here. You are on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at shalomkline.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. Get Down to Business is powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. You can find them at tandemhr.com or call 630-928-0510. Once again, 630-928-0510. You can also email them, simplify, at tandemhr.com. This week, we will be joined by guest Yaakov Naomis from Hebrew University, Tom Cross, a candidate for Illinois Treasure, Talia Mashiach, the founder of Eved. We're going to be talking with Aaron Miller from the Excel Group. We've got a great lineup of guests for you. But first, let's start with uh, a fellow who's really uh, a, a leader in the world of innovation, a fellow who's uh, here from Israel doing research in the United States, and we're going to give people the opportunity to get to know you better out here in Chicago on August 21st. But more about that in a moment. Yaakov from Hebrew University, thank you for joining us on Get Down to Business. Good morning, Sharon. It's great to be on the show. Fantastic. So, Yaakov, tell us a little bit about your background and what you're doing, the research that you're doing here in the United States. Um, I was trained as a chemical engineer at the Technion, Israel Institute of Technology. And in 99, I came to the United States to do my PhD at the University of Minnesota. So I don't know how many of your listeners know that, but uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota is actually one of the hotbeds of medical innovations in in the United States. This is where Medtronic, 3M, Centered Medical are located. Um, I finished my PhD there, and then I moved to Boston for seven years. I did my postdoc first at Harvard Medical School, and then I became a junior faculty at Harvard Medical School. But in 2008, there was an opportunity to create a new center for bioengineering at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, and it's it's an opportunity that you seldom, uh, that you can't, you really can't ignore. It comes once in once in a lifetime. So we packed the family, moved to Israel. It's been an incredible ride since then. That's fantastic. And so you are, uh, as, as, as we've been saying, Hebrew University, but Yaakov, you yourself, uh, you're, you're, you're discovering innovation in, in biotechnology. Tell us a little bit more about some of the things that you've been working on, the projects that you've been working on, both in your years in, in Minnesota and, and, and uh, your, your, as you said, the postdoc at, at Harvard University and now through Hebrew University. Okay. So um, one of the most exciting things that happens in the last in, that happened in the last three years is a program that we uh, at the Center for Bioengineering put together in collaboration with the Hadassah Medical Center, one of the largest medical research institutes in Israel, part of the Hebrew University complex, and our business school. We call it Biodesign Israel. Um, it's it it takes some tunes from Stanford Biodesign program that helped us set this up. We take business students uh, doing their masters, PhD students that are doing classical engineering research, uh, and clinicians. We bring them together, get them to talk about their problems, get them to understand each other, and we form call as we call as groups that then take clinical needs and find innovative solutions to them that could be. Um, could actually reach the market that have a significant market potential. So last year, for example, uh, we had two companies that are going very, very quickly into the market. The first one is an innovative way to do intubation. Uh, when you're trying to put a plastic tube into somebody's lungs, um, you need to uh, you need to be careful not to put that plastic tube into the gut instead, because if you do that, the, the patient is not going to get enough oxygen and then it will suffer from hypoxia. This is a major, major problem, especially under combat situations where uh, uh, the soldier is on the ground, the medic is trying to take care of him, or maybe even in a moving 
ambulance uh, in New York or in Chicago, you need you need to be aware that it's a it's a it's a fifty fifty. Uh, choice, but if you put the tube in the wrong place, the patient will go into a coma or die. So the innovative solution there was to actually put an infrared source on the top of the patient, and only the trachea, only the, the tube leading into the lungs, actually gets illuminated, and the entire process can become automated and robotic. It's an incredible invention that we hope that very, very soon is going to be at the pockets of every single paramedic uh, in the United States and Israel. Um, another innovation that we came up with in the first year of the program was a device called the Sagiv. It's a, it's a semi-automatic uh, infrared sight gun to, en- to insert catheter in patients' hands. Now, this is uh, for, for people with children. This is something that we deal with every time our child sees a doctor and has to give a blood sample. Uh, it's very difficult to find veins in children and elderly people. Uh, it's, it's difficult to see them. The veins are smaller, and sometimes children get pricked five, ten, even twenty times before they could find the veins. And this is a, this is a difficult. This is a difficult. Even, even though it's a simple procedure for the clinicians doing it, it's actually something very, very complex. It requires a lot of dexterity. So automating the process is an incredible step forward. So I was always joking about uh, it takes an Israeli to invent an infrared gun to put IV catheters, but uh, I think it's an incredible innovation. It comes up. Um, uh, it came up. We have we have three different prototypes right now in Adassa Pediatrics units, and we have parents actually running after us to help the doctors use this to put the uh, uh, IV in their, in their kids because the kids are really, really scared of this process. Uh, interesting. So the work and the research that you're doing uh, through the, the, the Center for, for Biotech in, 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 at Hebrew University is actually having an impact globally, including right here at home in Chicago and the United States. The research that you're doing in, uh, in, in, in biomedicine, fascinating, fascinating stuff. So uh, who are your counterparts in, in the United States? Do you still um, maintain the connections with, uh, with Harvard University? Um, yeah, so I still have a I still have a junior uh, faculty appointment, faculty appointment at uh, at Harvard Medical School and at Northeastern. But a major politi- a major um, uh, business partners here in the United States were Boston Scientific, uh, a very large manufacturer of medical devices located in Boston. Uh, we are now being approached by a company in Japan called Chirumo. Corporation. They're also uh, producing many medical devices for cardiology, a lot of consumables for uh, plastics, for uh, standard medical care. So as the name of the program is growing, we get more and more partners being uh, affiliated with us. Um, there's a lot of interest in this type of innovation especially in Israeli companies. That's fantastic. So, Yaakov, you're actually going to be out here in Chicago on August 21st, and I'd like to extend an offer to listeners of Get Down to Business. Uh, if, if you're interested in something that Yaakov just said, the research, the innovation, you want to meet Yaakov, if you uh, send me a tweet, at Shalom Klein, S-H-A-L-O-M, K-L-E-I-N, tweet me, at Shalom Klein, let me know that you're interested, and we will give the first five listeners of Get Down to Business that that reach out to me through Twitter or through my website at ShalomKlein.com an opportunity to uh, join us at a VIP reception here in Chicago, August 21st, you'll have an opportunity to meet Yaakov Nami is from Hebrew University, who's really making a difference uh, in, in innovation and in biotech and medicine, as we said, making uh, the research being done is actually really having an impact in the hospitals really around the world, which is fantastic news. So, Yaakov, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, of course, people can learn more about uh, the American Friends of the Hebrew University on their website at afthu.org. Once again, that's AF American Friends. Uh, THU, the Hebrew University, dot org, and people can find out more about the uh, the 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 incubator that, that you're forming, the research that you're doing, and as I said, the first five listeners that tweet me at Shalom Klein, 
uh, or reach out to me through my website, we'll be able to meet you in person. So, Yaakov, thank you for joining us on Get Down to Business. A pleasure. Fantastic. Get Down to Business is brought to you in part by Everett Wealth Solutions, a registered investment advisor and financial planning firm, a fiduciary advisor that helps you create your personal wealth. You can find them at everettwealthsolutions.com or call 708-771-7777. Once again, Everett Wealth Solutions, 708-771-7777. This week, we're talking a lot about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. After the break, we're going to be talking with Tom Cross, former House Majority leader in the Illinois legislature. We're going to be talking with Talia Mashiach, the founder of Eved, and Aaron Miller of the Excel Group. Lots of advice and information for you. Remember, get on my website, shalomklein.com. You can download podcasts from Get Down to Business. Find out who's going to be on next week, Sunday at 6 p.m. on this radio program. And of course, you can learn more about meeting Yaakov, our last guest from the Hebrew University. Uh, on August 21st. Let's get down to business and continue this conversation and adventure in entrepreneurship.